What you do with your life? Get your education, boy. Subscribe to A's Online. All right, welcome back to A's Online Virtual Classroom. We're here once again bringing you another video to help you get your education as you prepare for upcoming exams. We are looking at a few construction angle videos in this series and we've looked at constructing 90 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, 120 degrees and today we're going to look at one of the polygons that you should be able to draw is constructing a parallelogram. Now this parallelogram is going to have a 60 degree angle and it's actually taken from a past paper mock exam paper right so we're going to take a look at the question first of all and then we'll get to today's video looking at the angles um constructing the parallelogram sorry so we're going to go to the smart board and take a look at today's question so the question says the diagram below not drawn to scale shows parallelogram a b c d and we can see that a b c d um going at the, all the four vertices around the parallelogram and it, they said using a ruler pencil and a pair of compasses only construct a parallelogram a b c d with a b equals eight centimeters a d equals six centimeters and angle this symbol here means angle angle d a b equals 60 degrees and this is very important to the bottom here marks will be awarded for construction lines clearly shown all right so what we're going to do is we're going to take our knowledge of constructing straight lines constructing 60 degree angles and try and make a full parallelogram with it all right so we're gonna go to the smart board now with that this is the video for today and we're gonna go full screen so that you'll be able to see it a little more clearly and get the construction going just give me one second let me pull it up all right so within the diagram here we have a um yes within the diagram here we have a little image of the actual parallelogram in the left hand corner and then we have the instructions to the top of the paper so we're going to run the video and get the construction going so you have to do a couple of things well to get this construction done so just bear with us as we go through the entire thing in full length so first of all we're starting with our baseline our baseline would be the bottom line which is a b and that line is eight centimeters so that's the first thing we're going to draw and we can use first of all the tool in your um, geometry set that has the double pointed part and you're going to take it and open it out to eight centimeters on your ruler now you could do this pressing against the table i am doing it in the air and you really have to take your time and line up those two tips at the zero point one at the zero point and one at the eight centimeter line and once you show you have it just take it on your paper and press it down just making a little indent on your paper two little marks and in between those dots, which we'll just darken to make sure we could see it a little better. It's a little difficult to find sometimes. 
um so just don't lose it if you do lose it mark it again with the pointy tool so we're going to take our compass and you need to show our construction line so we're going to take the pointy part of the pencil and the pointy part of the compass zero and at eight and we're going to make sure we open out our compass exactly to eight centimeters as well take your time and and don't rush it if you have to use the table as a as a kind of a base Put it on the page table and, and get it open up to the desired length. And put in your point at one of the dots you just made. Just draw a little curve and then you're doing the same thing on the opposite side. And it should line up exactly in your curve, your, your two dots. And now we're going to label those two points A and B. Now taking our T-square or ruler and take your time and line up your two dots on either side, carrying it full through. So that's our first line AB and it's supposed to be 8 centimeters. Once you draw your line, you can always take your ruler, measure it, make sure you have your exact 8 centimeters drawn. Now we're going to take our compass and draw our 60 degree angle in our parallelogram where it doesn't matter where, uh, how wide you open up the compass just make sure it doesn't move and you're making a curve that will cut a line so the pointy part of the compass was at A and without changing the compass we're putting it at that next point here where it cut the line AB, the curve you just drew and you're going to draw another curve to the top of your that of your line giving you that intersection would measure 60 degrees now you have to do there are two parts to this in particular because that line has to be six centimeters so apart from it being 60 degrees you have to make sure that it is six centimeters so we're going to take our compass and open it up to six centimeters take your time make sure that you have it um at the desired width and now we're going to make an arc above our two curves that we just drew make sure you have a nice lightly drawn line don't make it dark these are your construction lines it's not part of your diagram like exactly and then we're using point a passing through the x I'm going straight all the way up to the curve that was drawn for six centimeters. Make sure you line up everything, all three points, point A, the X in the center, and then the eight centimeter curve to the top of the X. And then you're going to just take your time and draw your line going straight up to your eight. Don't pass that eight centimeter line, that six centimeter line, sorry. And that point up there where the curve for the 6 cm meet the line is just true would be point D in your diagram. And we have 60 degrees drawn right there. We're almost finished. So we're halfway there. We're going to take a look now at the angle on the other side. So the thing about this is you have to calculate the other angle. So if one angle in the parallelogram is 60, the opposite angle is also 60 so that's 60 and 60 that's 120 so the other two angles have to add up to 240 because quadrilaterals four-sided figures have 360 degrees so we're just going to draw a, a basically a 60 degree angle on the right hand side and then a 120 on the inside so i drew a curve around starting at point b you would have seen this in our video where we drew 120 degrees i will link it so that you can check it out if you haven't seen it and we're going to extend our line a b to meet that curve we just drew that curve we put the pointy part of the compass at point b and at any length opened up we drew a curve and that line i just drew is another construction line so just draw it very light and now without adjusting your compass 
you're going to put it at where those two lines just met at that point as you see in your video here and draw another curve to the top that would give us 120 degrees on the right hand side of point b sorry the left hand side of point b and we also need to have the line running upwards there to be six centimeters so we're just adjusting our compass here to make sure that we have that six centimeter line because the parallel line is supposed to be equal in length so the line on the left is six so the line on the right should be six and just like before we draw in an arc just double checking to make sure that my um, compass is six centimeters looks it looks a little wide make a nice decent arc that is not heavily drawn on paper on your paper it's just light a very light line and then you're going to connect your three dots again as you did on the left point b passing through the x straight to that curve where you measured for six centimeters and that is going to give you a third side in your parallelogram and you're basically 90% done once that line is drawn make sure you don't pass your curve because then you'll get more than six centimeters and we're just going to label that point that will be the last point point c so you have your diagram to guide you on your left which is on the exam paper and then we're going to connect point D and point C to the top of our diagram, giving us our final line to enclose and give us our polygon, a parallelogram, 60 degrees, a baseline of 8 centimeters, and another pair of parallel lines of 6 centimeters. So I'm just making my diagram look exactly like it does in the question identifying my parallel lines that one is a double because it's eight and the other side was six centimeters so at this point we're just going to measure to make sure that we have all our angles and lines drawn properly this is part of checking over which i always say is the most important part of actually doing any type of exam checking over to make sure all your work is correct and we measure the 60 degrees take your ruler to measure up all your lines eight centimeters according to the question and then this line here is supposed to be six centimeters and once your angle is correct and the length of your lines are correct the rest of the shape will fall into place so make sure you have all your lines labeled, all your points labeled, and that's it. We have a full parallelogram. It looks almost identical to the drawing in the corner. So, there's a couple things we did there. We drew straight 8 centimeter line. We drew 60 degree angle. We drew 6 centimeter line. We drew a 120 degree angle. And all of those things coming together to form our parallelogram, which is just one of the quadrilaterals that they can ask you to draw for exam. All right, so that's it. That's our full um, parallelogram question. And I encourage you to hit the subscribe button if you haven't as yet, as we continue to bring these videos to help you get your education. I am Andre. And I will see you for another video where we are constructing some other polygons. All right. What you do with your life? Get your education, boy. Subscribe to A's Online.